What is cooking, guys? It's your boy Porky Pig, and I just woke up. Anyway, happy 420 to the entire world. And if you're from the Philippines, we can't celebrate that because our president will kill us. Happy, 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 happy birthday to my best friend Gino Mintu. You are 25 now. It's time for your quarter life crisis. I didn't tell you guys yet, but my car is actually for sale. It's a 1994 Nissan Sephiro A31 engine swap with an RB25 DET Series 2 engine from an R33 Skyline. But it doesn't work, it doesn't run. I bought this car to learn how to drift and to do autocross. The RB25 DET Series 2 engine is supposed to make around 276 horsepower and I don't know how many foot-pounds of torque, which is good for drifting and good for autocross. Now, the guy who sold me the engine screwed me over out of the transmission, the coilovers, the bucket seats, the gauges, the turbo. I had to pay for the intercooler that's, that was supposed to come with the half cut that I bought. And I had to buy a new fuel pump and other stuff too to make this car run. So I paid for the entire half cut and just got the engine. Anyway guys, I'm going to the gym, it's leg day, I'm just going to do a light workout and then I'm going to Festival Mall later. So I'm here currently in Festival Mall, I'm gonna go to Decathlon, buy Gino a gift, and look for new headphones, cause my Razer headphones need to be retired, and my Samsung earphones are broken too, so I really need headphones badly. So on my way to Decathlon, I found the booth of Canon, Nikon, and DJI in, in the middle of the Festival Mall in their like um, activity center, and I gotta check out the camera that I really want for vlogging. As well as I saw the drone, but I didn't take a video of it because I want to surprise you guys which drone I'm going to buy. But here is the Canon 200D and this guy's going to explain it to us. Thank you Kuya for explaining and thumbs up for you. So Kuya showing me the camera I want, the Canon 200D. So which color should I get for Gino? That one's mine. That color, the blue one's mine. So it's either this one or this one. I'll get him the yellow one. So I bought him a water bottle too, aside from the bag. Anyway, Gino, here's your gift. I'm not sure if you're gonna like the color. Happy birthday and enjoy your jug. I hope you fill it with so much alcohol instead of water when we climb mountains. Now I'm on the way to the tech area here in Festival Mall. And yeah, I don't know what brand to use for editing. I don't know which brand to buy. It took me a while to find the right earphones for me. I was initially deciding between buying cheap headphones, headset, or to buy in-ear earphones. And I chose the latter one and I decided to buy two. One for gym and one for editing. Time to go home. I'll catch you guys later in Gino's um, birthday dinner. Bye-bye. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Oh.
I just woke up. I'm just waiting for Gino to pick me up. We're gonna go celebrate his, his birthday party. I don't know where we're gonna celebrate it yet, but hopefully it's somewhere nice and fun. All right, the line's pretty long. We started at queue number 19. It's like queue number 12 right now. It's been about an hour. Uh, fucking hungry. So we're here in Container Turf, you know, just looking around. We're waiting for a reservation in uh, San Diego Salamat. And yeah, it's my first time here. Is it your first time here, Mr. First Time? Yeah, my, it's my first song in my ear. <laughs> All right, it took us three hours of waiting, and then we got to the table. And then I we're hope, gonna go. <laughs> I hope the food's, um, you know, worth the wait. So this guy right beside me is known for his food reviews. So he's gonna have a segment on this vlog. His name is Kars Karantang. You can check out his channel up here. So on to the food review. Take it away, Kars. What is up, everyone? So I'm just gonna give my review of the food here. And uh, I'm doing it as a selfie style because we did a video earlier actually and couldn't hear me because the place is so noisy. Anyway, well, first round we had some uh, beef. We had, uh, yeah, we had two orders of beef. I don't know what they're called. And one order of uh, pork sangyupsa, which was a gochujang sangyupsa, which means that it is marinated in gochujang, which is the chili paste, I guess, of Korea. They all tasted good. Uh, the, the beef cooked fast. I learned that for the first time now, and then the, it was pretty hard to see when the sangyupsa, the, the, the pork, was already cooked because it was already colored red. But anyway, if taste is all that matters to you guys, everything tastes great for 500 pesos. You can still really get a lot of value for the food here, and pretty much that's it. So after like an hour and a half of eating and eight plates of food, we just finished eating here in Sangip Salamat and I can say the wait was absolutely worth it. Anyway, that's the end of vlog number 11. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below where you think I should go next or what you think I should do. Click up here because YouTube thinks that's something you're gonna enjoy. Click down there because that's my most recent video. And click over here on the Porky Pig icon to subscribe for more Porky Pig videos. Bye bye.